Olifanskop is a bend peppered pass located on the N10, a major arterial national road which bisects the country from the Namibian border in the north to Port Elizabeth in the south. Surprisingly, it's only one of three passes which reference elephants in their title, the other two being Olifansport near Queenstown and Olifansnek near Rustenburg. Although the road is in a good condition, it's considered to be one of the most dangerous passes in South Africa for a number of reasons, including severe weather conditions, rock falls, wild animals, multiple blind corners, steep gradients, and last but not least, the large number of heavy commercial vehicles which ply this road. We filmed this pass from north to south. There are a total of 34 bends, corners and curves, 15 of them on the northern side and 19 on the southern side. This averages out at one corner every 288 meters, so not much of this road is straight. Given these and the other hazards on this pass, it would be wise to slow down to the posted speed limit of 60 km per hour and to enjoy the magnificent scenery all along this traverse. Thick indigenous bush, which includes the acacia trees and the aloes that are so typical of this area, encroach all along the road as it gains altitude. As the road zigzags its way slowly towards the summit, the road splits into a double lane at regular intervals, so if you're stuck behind a slow moving truck, apply some patience until you can get safely past. Baboons and monkeys are a common sight all along the pass and there's always the potential of encountering a kudu in the road, especially at night. Game fencing does guard the road on the left hand side, but these large antelope are capable of clearing a two meter high obstacle from a standing start, so this is unlikely to stop them. The result of a collision with one of these animals is horrendous, so rather be safe than sorry. At the 4.5 km point, the summit of the pass is reached, which is easily identifiable by a road leading off to some telecom towers on the right and by large laybys on either side of the road. Stop here for a break and to admire the magnificent views which are presented over the river valley to the north. It can be very windy at this exposed spot, so watch your footing if you have to cross over the roadway. The descent now begins with a sharp 90 degree turn to the right, followed by a short straight of 100 meters and then by another 90 degree right-hander, forming a perfect happen bend when taken together. Steep cliffs, which have been gunnited to prevent rock falls, together with stone-packed retaining walls, characterize the terrain on the right-hand side, and a safety railing guards the huge drop-off on the left. Beautiful views towards Patterson on the southern side are visible sporadically through the thick bush. On a clear day, it's even possible to see the Indian Ocean a long distance away. The descent continues steadily through another 17 corners as the road winds its way down the southern side of the Sierberg Mountains in an effort to keep the gradient as gentle as possible. This side of the pass is a lot more exposed to the prevailing easterly winds and there are no double lane sections, so make sure that you don't stray into the oncoming traffic. Olifanskop Pass is located very close to the eastern border of the Addo Elephant National Park. The original section of this huge game reserve was originally founded in 1931 due in part to the efforts of Sydney Scaife in order to provide a sanctuary for the 11 remaining elephants in the area. The park has subsequently been expanded to include the Woody Cape Nature Reserve near Alexandria and is currently the third largest national park in the country after Kruger and Kalagadi. Elephant numbers have decreased alarmingly throughout Africa, primarily due to hunting, habitat destruction and fragmentation. From an estimated 3 million animals a few hundred years ago, the population has declined to about 450,000 individuals throughout the continent at the present time, with about 50% of the decrease occurring in the 20th century. As per the last accurate census in 2015, there were a total of 18,841 elephants in South Africa, approximately 50% of which are contained within the Kruger National Park. There are about 600 elephants in the Addo Elephant National Park. Poaching of elephants for the ivory trade has reached epidemic proportions in many African countries. The corners decrease in frequency as you approach the bottom of the pass, which is reached where the road dips down through a low point at the 9.8 km mark.